What's up guys and welcome back to another video. What's up guys? We're gonna be installing a sound system now on the truck. I know a lot of you guys love these videos so we got all our goodies here to install the first phase of this sound system. So. In this video, I'm pretty much going to go over everything, all the equipment we're going to need, and I'm going to put a link in the description if you guys want to follow the same tutorial of how to install the same system. So stay tuned for the actual install video. Um, I would put everything in one video, but um, it's not fair to you guys unless you guys want to wait like a month until I upload because I'm going to take my time with this whole install. Um, maybe not a month, but a couple weeks at least. So I'd rather keep you guys updated on what's going on. And that way, because uh, we're still waiting on some stuff. This is not everything. And like I said, this is the first phase of the install. So uh, let's go over kind of everything that we have here and everything we're going to be waiting for. So kind of for the first phase, I kind of want to work on just a voice. Um, I did mention in my other videos that I'm going to be doing a blow through uh, in this truck. So that's probably going to be the second phase of the build. I don't want to do... Um, everything all together because right now like I said I have no sounds whatsoever and it kind of sucks um, I have no exhaust I can't listen to anything so it's kind of boring in my drives so I kind of want to have a um, a little bit of a sound so um, I decided to make this a sound truck uh, make it a show truck so I'm gonna make sure that everything is like prestige and make sure everything is nice and clean um, and loud course I know you guys love loud so um, the system here I'm not a professional or anything but um, I think I gathered the best the best of the best products at the best price if that makes sense obviously there's um, full cal speakers and other very expensive speakers that you can uh, pay two thousand dollars or even ten thousand dollars for a setup we're not gonna do that here uh, at the end of the day it's just a little OBS um, even what I have right now is probably more worth more than the actual truck so um, like I said we're just gonna be doing um, the bare minimum where it still sounds like a nice sound truck a nice little competition trucks so, and let me go over everything we're gonna be doing so first we do have our excess power battery that is gonna be installed here well if you guys tuned into my last video, it's already installed in here. This was actually the one that we put in my OG truck. So this box is actually empty. This is just for show. But I did get a 3400. Um, D3400 here. So this is the powerhouse of the whole system. I believe we're going to have to install either one or two more of these in the truck. Once we have our subwoofer, um, once we have our blow through box and everything. We're going to have to install uh, an additional one or two of these just because of the amount of water that's going to be going through the truck. So, um, again, this is the first thing um, price for this. I think it was like almost 400 bucks with taxes and everything. So, that's that's the first thing. All right, next on our list, um, we also ordered this Viper Alarm. Obviously, with all this equipment, you kind of want to have a little bit of more protection. Not that this is going to stop anybody. I mean, anybody can probably just break into the truck and disable this. But it's going to give another level of protection. Plus, we're also going to be um, doing a kill switch. So, stay tuned for those videos. Um, but this Viper Alarm, once we're done with the, this part of the system, I'm going to go ahead and install this. Uh, just The main thing I want this for is the siren and the lock and unlock. So... Um, of course, this is not a power window. It's manual locks and unlocks and manual uh, window regulator. So stay tuned for those videos where we're going to be converting everything to um, power. That way we can press lock and unlock and unlock the door. Next, so let me show you inside the truck real quick. All right, we're inside the truck. So the plan for this is we have a 4x6 here, 4x6 there, 4x6 there, and one on the driver's side back here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just I've got some adapters 
and I'm gonna go ahead and just put some four inch speakers. They're a lot louder than the four by six that DS18 makes. I did order a uh, an adapter that goes from four, four by six to just four inch. So we're gonna put four inch speakers here, there, there and there. Uh, we ordered some custom kick panels. We're still waiting on those. I can't show you guys those, but it's gonna be a six and a half and a tweeter on in, in both sides here too. It's gonna be kind of coming out here. I don't know if this is gonna kind of be in the way or I'll have to move it a little bit, but it's gonna go here. I didn't wanna mess with the uh, the doors, um, even though this is enough space here to put like a couple six and a halfs here, but I didn't wanna mess around with the doors. Um, and then they also sell, I seen that they sell like this roof thing here, all the way here, so maybe that's gonna be like phase three of the build. I kinda want one of those, but I don't want, I don't, I don't know, it doesn't look as clean as like obviously stock, so um i'll wait on that but um we also ordered our our dash kit for the single den and this is going to be gone and it's just like a little cubby hole here and then so let me show you the rest of the equipment over there but i just kind of just wanted to show you the plan inside of the truck uh, just to let you know what's going on in here um eventually we are going to make a custom center console once we get our, our bucket seats and we're going to make a custom center console with maybe some speakers on the side and some LEDs. Um, but again, that's maybe like phase three of the build. Um, right now, I'm just kind of focused on getting some tunes in here, getting some radio, getting some music. Because, uh, like I said, it's kind of sad I'm trying this truck. I don't have my radio here. This is the dash bezel that I was talking about. So, like I said, I'm going to leave a link in the description down for all these things. I, pretty much, it's all from Amazon and eBay. So... These are kind of hard to find, but I found one that kind of matches the same color as a truck. So this is a single din opening here. And we already have our old radio from the OG truck, so uh, we should be able to just adapt that in here. And it's something simple. It's just a little single din. Um, I think it's a Pioneer radio, so I'll show you guys that. So with that, also you get your uh, little cubby hole and then your little adapter. So because we're gonna be using an amp for the speakers, but we don't necessarily have to wire everything. Let me open this. Most of these are like for speakers. So don't be scared if you guys see all this wiring and you're all confused, because I used to be. I had I, I back in the days I used to have to pay somebody to do all my wiring. But once you understand how everything works and how the power runs through the vehicle, um, it gets less intimidating. So like from here, I think you're just gonna be using like the ground. Um, accessory and then constant there's only like three or four wires you have to wire through here um, the rest of them are speaker wires and we're gonna bypass those and we're gonna run them directly to our amplifier I've never ran one of these um, equalizers um, I saw Clarion has one and a couple other brown I think Soundstream has another one but I wanted to see how it sounds with one of these um, everybody raves about how much cleaner the sound comes out of these and what I like is that um, you have all your outputs here. Let me show you guys real quick. It comes with like the little mounting hardware. We're gonna mount it probably under the um, dash area where the where the radio's at. But what I like about this is that we have all our um, outputs here for the amplifiers. Look at that. So we pretty much just have to run maybe one set of RCAs. Um, main end right here from our radio and then everything should be able to be controlled here the subwoofer volume everything should be controlled through here all right next up we have our speakers this is our arsenal of speakers it's gonna be a total of eight of them so we have our four inch ones like i mentioned with um the adapters these are the adapters um it's by scosh scosh car stereo so it's four by six that, that's a part number and that's an exact fit for four inch so um that'll allow us to go from that four and a six four by six area there put that on and adapt the little four inch speakers to there um and i've seen everywhere nobody really uses four by sixes anymore so these are actually 100 rms and the reason why i went with ds18 is i think this is the best bang for your buck that you can get um prove me wrong everybody says that um, I've heard the Apocalypse brand in person. They're really loud, but they're more expensive than these. So I feel like this is the best bang for your buck. 
Um, so we got four four inch speakers for the actual um, OEM areas. Uh, then we got our tweeters. Uh, we got two tweeters. We got two tweeters. Um, these are one inch, one inch tweeters. Here we go. Look at that. Pretty nice magnet. Pretty size magnet. These are actually pretty expensive. They're almost as much as actual like six and a half. But um, hopefully they make a difference. So we got our tweeters here. Uh, these are going to go in the kick panels. Like I said, I can't show you the, the kick panels yet. They haven't arrived. They have to be custom made, so we're not here yet. We got our two six and a halves here. Uh, also for the kick panels. So these are probably going to be the loud ones here. Uh, and then to power everything, we have our to ramps amplifier. So this is a 1200 by 4 amp. I heard really good reviews on this brand. I don't know. It seems like a small little amp. Very small amp for um, 1200. 1200 uh, and it's a 4 channel amp. So uh, like I said, I've heard really good reviews on this. I've never ran any of these in my trucks. I've never heard them in person. But in this build, we're probably going to be able to um, try this out. See how it works, you know? See if it's loud enough. We can compare it to the Hyphonics that we have in our OT truck. All our wiring. Uh, this is all the installation stuff. So I like NVX brand. It's by Sonic Electronics. So they're a reputable brand. And then you can see here it's ideal for systems up to 3000 watts. We're only doing 1200 on the voice so this is all we need for the for the subwoofer once we do the blow through like i said we're going to be doing a blow through maybe maybe half the box like here yeah half the box and do a blow through all the way in there uh for that we might need like two sets of this zero gauge wiring it's going to be maybe like 5000 watts running through it but this comes with your zero gauge wiring and it's OFC, so it's, everything's really uh, high quality stuff. So it does come with the terminals already. Uh, I did purchase some terminals just in case uh, we need to cut it or anything. So we have extra terminals and we have the cutters and uh, the crimpers to, to crimp these down just in case. Um, these are all things that if you guys already have, you guys don't have to buy. But this also comes with some uh, speaker wire, probably not enough for all eight speakers, but you got some here. Um, I ordered a little bit more just in case we need more. Um, there's a speaker wire. We have our, our uh, fuse block. And then we have our remote turn on. Our ground. And then our RCAs, but this is only for a two channel. Um, we need four channel RCA, so I went ahead and also got a uh, four channel RCA with uh, MDX high quality stuff. And then this is all stuff you guys don't necessarily need, like I said. Uh, I just go ahead and get one of these um, crimping tools some spacers to mount our amp and last but not least some heat shrink stuff um, I don't really like the book connectors but I want this one for the speakers you guys can see here there. this will um, along with the crimping with this tool uh, the speaker leads can also be soldered so I'm gonna be able to solder them and um, with some heat and also crimping so that'll allow us to have our speaker ends to connect the wire, this wire, to the end of the speakers. So, but that's pretty much it. Uh, there's a couple more stuff that you might need um, that I didn't mention in this uh, video here. Like I said, I still need the the radio. The radio, I don't, I don't have it here, but I have it in some house. So I didn't show you guys that, but that's something you guys are gonna need. And then a couple like basic tools to take everything apart in the truck. But you guys should all have that already. Obviously, there's a couple other things that you might need, but um, I'm not able to take everything out right now. But this is the majority, the vast majority of the equipment that you're going to need for the first phase, like I said, which is just the voice. I did also get like a piece of wood where I'm going to be mounting the amp and we're probably going to be mounting it to the back wall. And later on, like building like a little custom uh, panel in the back with the amp. So it looks real nice. But... Uh, I think that's pretty much it so you guys will have to stay tuned for the next video where we're going to be actually putting it in the truck um let me know down below do you guys want like slow detailed videos because i can make these videos real long like 30 40 minutes of video um and i can put the gopro on and show you like detail by detail 
or do you guys just want me to show you like hey I did this and did that so however you guys want whatever you guys decide down below that's what I'm gonna be doing so make sure you guys comment down below and give this video a big thumbs up if you guys want to see these kind of videos because I know you guys enjoy sound system videos and like I said we're gonna make this truck loud but that's gonna be it for this video guys make sure you guys subscribe if you guys haven't subscribed and stay tuned for the next one